Thanks, Troy. Take a look at this. At first glance, it may seem like it's just a big photo booth. That's right. That's what it looks like, but it's actually a giant scanner. Through AI, Hertz is using it to check cars for damage. And as Chris Van Cleve reports, it's also sparking controversy among unsuspecting customers. This AI technology spotting damage to rental cars has lawmakers concerned and some customers complaining about surprise bills. These AI-powered photo booths snap thousands of high-resolution images before and after rentals to scan for anything that may have happened to the vehicle. I think as a consumer, it feels pretty extortive. Adam Foley and his wife rented from Hertz during a family visit to Atlanta. As soon as we landed back in San Antonio on our flight, I got started getting automated messages immediately saying that there were damages found in the vehicle and that I owed $80 for two small different dents and then $190 for a processing fee and so a total of $350 for what are pretty negligible events that I didn't even detect. Hertz plans to roll the system out widely, currently using it at 10 U.S. airports, but says it is still refining the process. We've seen cases where customers um, have disputed the damage because they think it's a shadow and not actually a dent or a scratch or a mark. Lindsay uh, Owens is a Washington, D.C.-based consumer advocate. What's wrong with using AI to spot damage on the rental car fleet? These technologies can absolutely be deployed um, for good. They can make things easier for consumers. I think the problem is when these technologies are being used to overcharge customers. Hertz declined our interview requests, but says the system offers precision and objectivity, giving its customers greater confidence that they won't be charged for damage that didn't occur during their rental. And more than 97% showed no billable damage. We tried it at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Going through the AI scanner now as we return the car. Hertz did not proactively notify us the AI system was in use. We were only told about it when we asked at the counter. We were not able to view the before images, but did not receive a bill for any damage. As for Adam Foley, who advises companies on using AI. If you had known what yeah. that, that system was and how it worked beforehand, yeah. would that have made a difference? I probably would have picked somewhere else, frankly. I don't want to have to worry about driving behind a truck that kicks up a rock. After CBS News inquired about Foley's case, Hertz waived the $350 in fees, telling us we strive to get it right for every customer. And when we fall short, we work to make it right, adding the refund underscores the progress we've made and the standard we're holding ourselves to moving forward. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, San Antonio.